Climate change is now recognized as a mainstream development issue, as the negative impacts of climate change on the world's poorest communities become clearer, strategies to adapt to the changing climatic conditions are increasingly being incorporated into development policy and practice. A body of evidence is accumulating on the social impacts of climate change. There is a growing consensus that climate change is likely to have differential impact on men and women, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. Farmers who depend on rain-fed agriculture are more vulnerable to climate change. IPCC says farmers' ability to adapt to climate change is likely to be affected by consistent changes in rainfall patterns and increased health risks as well as climate-induced migration. Building farmers' resilience is therefore the surest way to reduce their vulnerabilities to climate change. To address these issues, a number of social protection measures that target poverty, food insecurity, and livelihood vulnerability should be considered relevant. Adaptation is a key feature of sustainable livelihood given the climatic uncertainties. With climate change adding an additional challenge to livelihoods, innovations and economic changes are introducing effective new adaptation elements that should be promoted alongside traditional approaches. These new innovative approaches which include knowledge, skills and confidence to manage, adapt and use resources should enable communities to avoid depleting their economic capital to finance their responses to climate change shocks and stresses. To enable communities to effectively adapt the impact of climate change to lessen their vulnerability, development partners are promoting adaptation strategies and are working closely with communities vulnerable to climate change to design and implement adaptation strategies. Partners in Rural Empowerment and Development, PARID, is one such development organization that has successfully implemented an innovative climate change adaptation strategy. PARID, with the support from Oxfam, has implemented a project known as Enhancing Livelihood Security through Climate Change Adaptation Learning Project, LCAP, in the East Mampusi district of the northern region of Ghana. The project, implemented in four communities, namely Yapala, Sumni Boma, Jarigitinga, and Zojilgo, basically address climate change impact on livelihoods through various interventions including dry season gardening, bushfire controlling, energy conservation, village savings and loans associations among other things. The lead project officer of PARID, Moses Tampuri, explained more about LCAP and its livelihood interventions. And so for the past three years we have been working around three main four main objective areas. One objective area is to strengthen the livelihoods and food security uh, of 750 smallholder farmers in the, in the four communities in which we work. Uh, the second uh, objective was, uh, was to replenish the fast depleting uh, natural resource base upon which people's livelihoods depend. Currently, the project is working in four communities. We have uh, Jelgatinga as one of the communities, Yapala, Sumnuboma, and uh, Zojilgo. The Elka project, we have had a lot of successes in that project. All this we have done with support from Oxfam in Ghana. Currently, under the uh, dry season gardening alone, we, 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 have, we have been able to facilitate uh, community members to take up uh, the dry season gardening as a main livelihood activity, which is through which they are earning a lot of income and even uh, food. So if you take that one alone, we have uh, currently about 170 gardeners in all the four communities put together, uh, 150 uh, females and uh, uh, 20 men. 
uh, to interest in that. gathering. If you take the VSLA, for instance, uh, the, we have about 12 VSLA groups, and uh, the numbers put together, we have uh, 233 members uh, of the VSLA groups. Uh, if you take uh, the, the lobby groups, which are uh, sort of representing the voices of the communities in terms of the last objective, we have up to 40 lobby groups. Uh, if you take, uh, for instance, uh, the entire community put together, all the four communities put together, uh, it comes up to a total of about 3,238 3, people uh, per, per the 2013 projections. So if you put these numbers together, we have uh, overshot the 750 small Talk about the uh, fire squads and so many other uh, beneficiaries of the virus. If you take the livestock support to women alone, uh, there are over 200 women who have received the livestock support. So if you put all this together, we are running over into 2,000 for the direct beneficiaries. Uh, people are now aware uh, of the impacts of climate change and taking steps, strategizing to see how they could uh, widen the, 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 uh, the options to other sources of livelihoods instead of depending solely on the uh, food crop production, which is uh, being affected greatly by the impacts of climate change. The beneficiaries of LCAP who were empowered to adapt to the impact of climate change through dry season gardening, bushfire control, livestock, rearing and energy conservation gave their impressions about the project. Maninya Imuru Usman. Can you hear Palana? The Tumama and one Pili, the Yuma and Nashimo. The letter Bamsum, the Enchanted and Nissim, the Tumar and Afia, the Chang, the Deep to put it at here. Kasunti, Miara, Sisa and Sunti Katiane. Yala, <laughs> Banjana Basuma Tipam, the Bora Bana could be a Tessa Sani, Katamban Tumna, Napuchan Tabubo Basoka Chetti, to Mama Puni. Nazio, Tala Maria to Amuris, the Sukurkis yet to Amin Kuchanang Bolgi. Today, Lahia to Ere Pai is in your nursing yaka. yaka. Ama Adako one, one Diane, yet to Asia Kuchanang Bolgi and Wachina, Yaviki Bikata from Nari, Kakokonia can Nakun and Tasu Mass and Tonga. Bring your Peter Migira. Can you soon number one number one community now? So, Poika Adaka Bishwara Kani, Drama Real Moksa, Dira Eton and Nanaka Adisha Kenan Kay, Ikani as Zong Pasiri, in Enchangan V. Ibenantan River, and Yal Eyal Mokumanya same, Abakunyanga, and you are sick. Ama Adaka Bishwan one channel, Tanyala Novoxia by Yang and Zentra, Bakwe Kamuza to Zentrani. Mumbera Kurvani Ningna Gari Gari the Matan Ning Ama Mummy Tenda be in the Trabum me a Garidum Busan Katra Busans and Kur Garidum Traba Kur Gari the me Gar Busans Guni. Now it is Sukurwana in your fancy, ma, Nisakutum Briba. Kumara Bahra Yuari Para of Fizit and Chans and Tumpana Garidum. Mana Pia, you know, Mamma Pia, you know, I'm by Bangi Gari, my mother and Fanny. Bashamantum Zagirgo. 
Madame Lilian Kutaro is the advocacy officer of Oxfam. And Oxfam in Ghana works in some under some uh, work with some thematic areas. We work in the livelihood and food security sector. Under the agriculture and livelihood program, one of the projects we are implementing is the enhancing livelihood security through climate change adaptation project. So with Parit, I should say under the LCAP we have chalked successes in the area of the village savings and loan scheme, in the area of bushfires control, in the area of improved um, improved farming technologies and then improving their livelihood activities. Dry season gardening, the project initiated the energy saving conserving stove where these community uh, women are improving on the local uh, system, the indigenous way of creating their stoves. We provide donkey and cats to the women to subuse to support their fellow women to co uh, cut uh, farm produce from the farms as a way of reducing Sorry. reducing post-harvest losses and also reducing the workload on these women. In terms of sustainability, uh, most of the things that we have we have worked on under the Air Cup project uh, have been done with the involvement of other district stakeholders, especially the district assembly, uh, Minister of Food and Agriculture, NADMO, uh, and the uh, Ghana uh, Health Service uh, in cases where health issues came up. In all, LCAP has chalked successes in the area of VSLA, energy conservation, bushfire management throughout the project area.